Welcome to another show, I'm Sid. A few people have been asking recently how I create this effect where I have the subscribe button overlaid onto the footage I'm using in my videos. And it's a very simple green screen effect. Uh, so I just wanted to explain it quickly for anyone who was interested. I used DaVinci Resolve, which is a free editing program. There'll be a link in the description if you wanna download that for yourself. It's very similar to Adobe Premiere or Final Cut, and it can actually be formatted so that the layout is almost identical to those for anyone who's transitioning from one software to another. So here we are in a new project. And as you can see, I've already imported some footage that I downloaded from YouTube. It's a very simple drone shot going over a canyon, just some simple, nice nature footage. Uh, and I've chopped it down so it's about 10 seconds because that's usually how long the intros of the videos that I use this effect are. And I've also gone on YouTube and I found this footage, which is a subscribe button uh, animated over the top of some green screen footage. So you can do this with any asset that has a green screen background, but for the purpose of this I'll be using the asset that I already use in all of my videos. So you've imported your main footage here into the timeline. So now what we're going to do is take our green screen footage and drag that into the timeline as well sitting above the nature footage that I've already imported. And the first thing you'll notice is that you can no longer see the drone shot underneath and I can scroll through and you'll be able to see the animation playing or I can even just let it play but the footage underneath is no longer there and that's what we're going to be dealing with now. We're going to cut all of this green out and we're going to replace it with the background essentially. So we're going to cut out all of the green and make that transparent so that you can see the footage behind but the subscribe button will still be there in front of it. So if I pause this, what I'm actually going to do first is retime this clip because I don't want to cut any of it out but I do want it to match up with the amount of footage that I have in the timeline below. So if we come over here to this tab then what you can do is select your green screen footage and with the shortcut command R or if you right click and select retime controls, it will show you the shortcut for whichever version you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. Uh, you can retime your project now. So you can adjust it here by selecting from this drop down menu and change the speed to be anything you like. You can increase it to 200%, but that's still a little bit too fast now. So if I undo that, what I'm actually going to do instead is zoom in a little bit and then drag until it matches up and it should automatically line up with your clip. Uh, you'll see there's also this audio track here. If you want to delete that, then you can right click, unlink those clips and you can select that on its own and delete it. I'll be leaving that here for the time being though. Next up, we're going to go to this tab here, which is this like magic wand one. And you'll be able to scrub through your timeline using this bar. You still won't be able to see the footage underneath though, because this is now the top layer in our timeline. So what I'm going to do is scrub through until everything is on the screen that we want to keep and the green screen is there in the background that we want to key out. Now I'm going to tap down here in this main section and select our median one. Now these are like nodes that you might have seen in Blender or Spark or any other program that you use with a similar setup, like a patch editor essentially. Uh, and what I'm going to do is hit shift and space, which will bring up this select tool menu. Uh, and you'll see here, I already have the Delta Kia set up, which is what we're gonna be using. But there are actually a number of different options that you can scroll through. They all do different things. You can blur your image, you can adjust the brightness or contrast. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. But if we type in key, then you'll see there is a chroma key option. So we could use that if we wanted. A luma key or an ultra key. -er. These are all very similar, but with minor, minor differences. And it depends on the type of thing you're doing as to which one you'll be selecting. But for this green screen footage, what we're gonna be selecting is this delta key. -er. And once we have that selected, we're gonna hit add and it will drop it here into our patch graph. And it will connect it here from this media input to this media output and fit right in the middle. You can drag it around and you'll see what I mean about how they're connected, kind of like a patch graph. So now that we've got that, what we're gonna do is take this dropper and just drag it over into our footage, drop it onto the green that we want to erase and let go of the mouse. And now you'll see all of these checker boxes, which means it's transparent. So if we go back now to our footage, you'll be able to see the original nature footage underneath and the subscribe footage uh, sitting on the top layer. If I hit play, then one thing you'll notice immediately is that there's a lot more lag and it's kind of choppy in terms of frames. Uh, so what I like to do with that is actually pause it, go over here to this render output, which is the little rocket, and swipe all the way back in your timeline. So now if we hit play, it will just give everything a chance to sync up and render out in the background. Uh, you'll see immediately that it's a lot less choppy, the footage is much smoother, and now if we were to finish letting it play out and head back over to this footage, then we can play it in here and it will be just as smooth in our original file. Now, this is pretty cool, I like this, but if you want to make adjustments to the overlay, this subscribe button here or anything that you've decided to add, then you can also come into this tab here, the same one that we use to retime the subscribe button. And now what we're going to do is select it again. And under this properties menu, you can now adjust the X position, the Y position, the rotation angle. So if I wanted, I could have it rotated around a point. Uh, I'll undo that. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is just move it up on the Y, get it a little bit more central 
And if you wanted, you could even zoom in and scale it up slightly. You've got to make some adjustments there. There are all kinds of options that you can change and mess around with, but for the most part, that is gonna be everything. So if we head back over to our main timeline now, scroll all the way back to the start and hit play, then you'll see I now have some beautiful nature footage with my subscribe button overlaid on top. It's pretty simple, there's not much to it. And I know this is not the usual type of tutorial that I make, but if you enjoyed it, please let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as the button suggests. And yeah, uh, I usually make Spark AR content, which is Instagram filters. But if you stumbled upon this video looking for this specific technique, then I appreciate you for being here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.